Hey everyone, this is Shaheen from ShaheenMuroInsights.com and I am doing the weekly intuitive forecast for the upcoming week of November the 7th. And this is a big week, there is a lot of stuff happening and most notably the presidential election. So go out there and let your voice be heard cast your votes and add to the change that you want to see in the world. I know my two of my best friends and I stood in line today to vote for three hours and it was a really fantastic and kind of crazy experience. We made some wonderful friends, there was so much good energy and people were really just kind of banding together with a purpose to let their voice be heard regardless of who they were voting for and i really found that inspiring you know it's not really about what's dividing us as far as who you see fit um, it's more about the fact that we as individuals can have an opinion and we can give our our opinion and our perspective um, validity and we can add to the the bigger picture and so I just really loved that people were passionate enough to stand in a three hour or four hour line in order to make sure that they were able to put their thoughts out there and to have um, a difference be made at least in whatever way that they could so I loved that I just loved that beautiful energy and there were people who were passing out free water and people who were passing out free lunches and snacks and you know going through the line and making sure everyone was okay and that no one needed anything there were people who were coming and making sure that uh, those who maybe were having trouble standing had a place to sit uh, it was just really it was really nice and no one was mentioning really anything about you know who they were voting for it was just kind of people were there and together and so I, I really liked that we got to see a pony a pony came to visit um, so it was just really it was really fun and it felt really good so please go out there and do that and do your part and add to that good energy so with that being said let's look at the intuitive forecast what is coming up this week so the first card that we have is the six of coins and you know this is really kind of an appropriate card for us to have it shows a man who is handing out um, money to two beggars and he's holding a scale and in the background is a kingdom and to me this is all about charity it's helping it's giving back it's taking a look at the less fortunate and also looking at the situation at hand and figuring out how can I add to or take away from this. And I think that this is a powerful card to come up right now with everything that's happening because it's a reminder that we are all part of the same collective, the same community, regardless of what our lifestyles are or what choices we are making as individuals we're still all affected by by the the whole you know my actions affect your actions and vice versa on an energetic level that is sort of the law of energy and of attraction and the cosmos so it's a really powerful meditation to contemplate how do my actions how do i affect the world? How does what I'm giving out come back to me or affect those around me? And is there a way that I can be a bit more loving or kind or generous or grateful? And how can I do that at the beginning of this week? And then we have the King of Pentacles. And I believe we've had him a couple of times recently. And the King of Pentacles, you know, he's in this beautiful throne sitting at the head of a kingdom all of his riches all of his fortune all of his hard work in the background and there's a lot of uh flora plants and fruits and and flowers and things blooming all around him so he is a very rich man and he's a reminder to to you that um, it's important to look at where you are and what you have and to show gratitude 
for those things. With this coming into play, it's a reminder to not hold on to your riches and to your fortune and and to your abundance in whatever form that is. Love, money, time, strength, power, whatever your abundance might be in your life. Don't hold on to it for yourself. Don't hoard it. Don't just look at it and think, oh, that's nice. I'm glad I have it. Ask yourself, how can you share that? Because that will allow it to grow. And that's a really powerful thing when we look at the king because his power comes from the health, the vitality, and the wellness of his kingdom. So he's always looking at the whole. If he's a good king, he will want even the, the person at the bottom of the, uh, of, the, of the chain to also succeed and to be well. So that's a reminder here in, in this. That's a big theme. And then we have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups sometimes talks about us um, being a bit lost in our dreams, being a bit delusional. But I also look at it as a card of possibility and of needing to be aware of where you're putting your energy. Um, it's talking about using your money, your resources, your time, and your abundance, and being very aware of where you're giving it away, of what you're putting it into. What seeds are you sowing? And how are you using your place and your power in the world? And if you use it wisely, if you use it intuitively, if you use it as a as a as a way to, um, I guess, empower yourself to nurture your own soul, then you're also going to use it in a way that's going to nurture the souls of other people. And so rather than diffusing your energy by giving it away and depleting uh, in depleting ways, you're giving it to things that are empowering you and those around you. So be very aware of that, of how you're using that energy. This week is going to give you ample opportunities to make that happen. And it's going to be a time of really stepping back from the material and how abundance works in a material way and looking at abundance from a more empathetic perspective, you know? So what I mean by that is time and energy, commitment, compassion, and love toward friends, towards family, toward everyone in the world that you encounter. That is another way that we use our our resources. So be very aware of that. Be very aware of that in everyday life and ask yourself, can I be a bit more generous? Can I be a bit kinder? Can I be a bit more empathetic? Can I be a bit more gracious? And if I do all of those things for other people, will I receive that same kind of, of love, respect, and blessings? Those are when miracles happen. And I'm a big believer in miracles, so take that with you for this week. Also, I would love to connect with you and hear what thoughts, what ideas, what questions, what stories you have to share with me. I've had the chance to talk to so many people lately. I have been, uh, I feel like I've just been tapped into the, the unseen, um, just like I've been on speed dial. So... It's been amazing hearing everyone's stories and all the synchronicities and the magic that is happening in your lives. And to just know that people are out there trying to live bigger and brighter and more magical. So please reach out to me. I would love to hear from you. I would love to connect. And if you would like to do your own private intuitive reading, please visit my website, shahimiroinsights.com. You can read more about intuitive guidance sessions. You can read more about um, energy clearing and intention setting. And you can always shoot me an email through the contact form and ask any questions you might have about the process or the way I work. The thing that I want you to know is 
I am here to share my experience, to share my journey, and to hopefully be a partner with you in this big, wild, crazy world, and to help you live more consciously, more authentically, and really more magically. Um, there's so much magic out there, and it wants to be used, so let's do it. All right. I have to talk to you soon. Until next time, make good choices in the world. Be loving, be kind, be aware, and be magical. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.